able to pick up but I'm going to do this and I'm also going to retweet this with a little bit more details So if you are not following me on Twitter, you may not have known this, um, but I was earlier complaining loudly about a website, but my GP, my general practitioner, my uh, doctor here in the UK has sent me an invite for to register. And that website doesn't have anything that you need to register for it literally only seems to let you register to be able to send you some newsletters from time to time about some of the possible topics that you may or may not be interested in um, whether this is, is the uh, whether this is useful or not it's up for debate but that's a different problem altogether the main problem i have with all of that is that the website is pointless and it's custom made, or at least partially custom made, because it's not the standard WordPress or anything like that. Um, it's running on Azure. It's copyright from a private company in Dundee that seems to specialize on um, some medical device, the medical website kind of deals. And it does, it's just content free, or rather, it has own content, but the content is pointless. Um, and it is absolutely useless, in my opinion. But enough with a bile about that. Um, I thought that I would use my anger about this whole situation to do something more useful than that, because my blood was really boiling about it earlier. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to be looking at the new glucometer, which I found about from a blog reader who was asking about this particular meter uh, for a university project, I think, or a research project. Um, and I never heard of a name, so I was like, okay, let me take a look. Um, and given that I actually do have a camera set up, I'm going to look at it together with everybody else this time around. Oh, that's a little too bright. Um, let me lower the light so you can actually see what I'm seeing and I need oh I should have turned this around shouldn't I can I do that let me see let me see I'm trying this online like as we speak doesn't seem to be working, does it? It flipped it vertically, it doesn't help. Okay. This is going to be a little bit more annoying than expected if I do it this way. And that doesn't help. Can I? Oh, there you go, I can rotate it 180 degrees, that's going to do it. So this is the um, VivaCheck Eno. Um, let me see if maybe if I can point this a bit. <sighs> trying to figure out where I can point the light so that it doesn't shine directly on the thing but still gives us enough light sorry for doing this so this is the Viva Check Eno it is a Chinese uh, can you tell what's written there maybe maybe I can focus it yeah so it says it's made it says that it's made by Vivacheck Biotech Hangzhou 
um, in Hangzhou. And, and distributed in Europe, at least, it seems, by Lotus and L in the Netherlands, in The Hague. Never heard of this brand, Vivacek. Um, had no idea how well or how badly this works. It seems to be common in India. Um, and it's somehow this is in English and in Spanish. So that's the English version. No coding. Um, for those who are, I'll, I'll explain as I go. But anyway, no coding, test memory, for testing glucose in whole blood, for testing and professional use. Um, comes with strips and 0 0.5 microliters of blood required. But no coding is because once upon a time you the, the strips themselves would have had a different range of calibration and so the coding gave you the calibration data. As far as I know this thing, I'll say on this one, This thing doesn't actually say anything on the box, but online it says it allows you to download the data with a computer and you should have a micro USB connection. So let me go ahead and open it with you. So this is technically an unboxing video now. Very standard, comes with a case. Also comes with the dancing device. And a bunch of instructions manuals. Probably all go to track afterwards. These lancing device, I think I have a few, but are identical to this one. So I assume this is just made in um, bulk. The case is not as cheaply made as I've seen others to be. And yeah, this is a device that does have a micro USB plug. You can probably tell that. Comes with a test strips, good quantity of test strips as well. Comes with a spare battery, or is that the only battery? Is that CR2042? So that's usual. Let me take this away. Yeah, that's the only battery. So it comes with one battery, no any spares. And it's interesting because this, uh, like, it gives me a feeling this was meant to take two batteries, but they may have made a new version. Also, funny thing, this seems to have some pins on the bottom, which is probably for um, control from the factory, manufacturing and stuff, which is interesting. The screws, it seems to be held with a single screw, and it is a torque screw, which is a bit sort of surprising, but... We'll see. Who is beeping? Yeah, it's asking me what time it is. And it is yeah, close. The, the minutes are fine, but it's not 12, it's 90. Okay, um, and how do I tell if sorry, this is happening again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not the first day month, day month. It's 2021, it's not the 3rd of the 3rd, it's the 7th, April, it's on the 7th, month is 7, and it's today is the 23rd. Beep off. I don't really want to beep. L1, L2. I have no idea what L1 and 2 does. Like, maybe I will tell that if I. Oh, I now can do it for L1. There's a bunch of things coming up, and then it's asking me for this thing. Let me see whether my manual tells me what the L1, L2 was meant to be. There's hypoglycemia, alarm. Oh, L1, L2 is like basic or advanced mode. 
So I'll show you with advanced mode, it supports the before and after meals. How do I get it back now? Because I actually want it in advanced mode. How to set the date? Enter setting mode and set time. When the meter is off, press and hold the thing. Okay, now it starts up. Yeah, his name's Kim six six three. Da da da. That's fine. 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 Hypo warning off. Tone warning off. Uh, alarm. Sure. They're all off. I want to keep them in. Okay. Oh, and like many other Chinese meters, this one does have this um, slider here to keep to kick out the screen. Now, before I break my fingers off camera to just check. The blood sugar. Um, I want to try to figure out for a moment what the heck this device is even going to be. Because it has a micro USB plug, which means it doesn't need an external serial adapter, it has probably a built in UART adapter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check. Oh, unlocking failed, sorry. I'm going to check when I connect it. So, bouncer. In some of the previous streams, I had to use the Linux device that I had next to me because serial ports, Windows, and stuff like that are a bit more complicated to do, particularly when I want to do USB snooping. Um, and I couldn't show that on camera, and it was a bit annoying. And I could have found an HDMI um, acquisition thingy, but then I was like, that's a bit overkill for just this kind of thing. And the truth is, I don't really use that machine much, except for like a bunch of things that I can run on WSL because they need IPv6 um, and a bunch of other things that needs like serial ports. So instead, I decided to set up RDP. Now this thing is hot. <laughs> it's actually totally burning um, but it seems to be queuing new right now that does that so it's this thing over here and yes I have a virtual machine with Windows there but somehow seems to be doing a lot of things despite the fact that it's not actually doing anything right now so what the heck is trying to use network on that thing or anything the edge installer is trying to do stuff and the anti malware. I'm going to terminate this thing. It doesn't have internet access. That's a problem. Like this thing is actually trying to update. That's probably why. It's very, very hot right now. I'm going to pause the virtual machine because I don't need it now. I may need to run the updates afterwards. So let's just see what this is. Now say it's connected to PC. Oh, it's an ACM. That's going to be fun. Not. So because this is a USB ACM device, it means that I actually have no idea how to extract the serial transfer between. I never had to extract ACM data. So I don't have in my USB mount tools anything but extract ACM data. And that's going to be fun. But that's going to be then the next thing. Because yes, I'm going to have more next streams. Let me see what the user manual says about where to find the software. Doesn't say. Hmm. 
the browsing will be so this is the company that turns out to have a bunch of PCR systems oh look they do COVID-19 PCR testing we could kind as well this is the I know which is this one there you go fulfills the requirement of some ISO format or another the ketone warning but I have no idea micro USB port fast add transfer to PC that's fine where is the software go okay so let's try to google for it Viva check I know software Oh, Psy Diary. Bising by Sinovo. I think I heard of them before. Oh yeah, this so this company does do I have let me just, let me just check the oh this is post. I just posted it, right? Um I've seen this company before. I don't know if I have a software installed on my, you know, I don't have it on the VM. I will have to install it. But essentially they do something that is very similar to glucometer interview fields from that point of view with their quick diary and stuff. Um, but the main difference is they don't actually publish any of the protocols themselves. Um, I think Side area e demo is free or something. Yeah, it's available also in French. Somehow they're German, but it's available in French and in Italian. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, this is the ADware version, which is probably not something I want to use on my normal VM. So what I'm going to do in, is I'm going to set up a new VM for this and run it like isolated from everything, no network, no anything. And then I'll write down the um, protocol. So, this is going to be the next fun part with all of these, which is how do I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where do I start? Well, let's start with installing a new Windows 10 machine. I think I have so I'm going to create a new one, local instant media. I think I have an old version. You can see that I've been using ISO files to try to transfer stuff. I have 20H2, I probably want a newer version than that. Um, yeah. Uh, product language English International will do fine. I mean, I think I'll be fine with a 42 bit to be honest. Let me download both of those anyway. It's it's not going to take that long anyway. It's nice to have a fast internet connection. See, this is where things are a bit tricky for me. Like I, I understand why there are companies that are literally just like they are selling things like Side Diary, and like it's fine. I think it's perfectly reasonable and logical for people to actually have like, to to cost money for people to do that.
like if I actually do spend time to develop like how this all works um, and stuff like that, it's perfectly The funny thing is that they can import Tidepool data, which means they are probably reading the Tidepool docs the same and code the same way I do. I will not be surprised if some like because let me go back to coding while we see no goals. Um, if you see, they do support a lot of different apps this app sorry um devices um i think they support more than mine at this point they do have a gl50 as well which is the one that i have but on linux it just kills the kernel still I do have a glucor rx which i also covered recently the various live scan ones the Glucoman, Ido and everything, like they do support all of this. The Nipro, I think I know the Nipro from somewhere, Nipro Diagnostics. Anyway, they do support a lot more than I've been doing. They also do the blood pressure and all that kind of stuff that I don't do. I don't have a need for or I have no interest in. We do the True Metrics and True Metrics Air, which I don't have a cradle for. You go, let's check. I know it's the only Viva check with support. And it is this one. You can find more details from the manufacturer. And like, they don't publish the protocols. They don't provide information about the protocol. They don't share that information because they are providing a full solution. Now, I understand that part. I still think it will be nicer at least for them to support to to just publish what they find because honestly speaking it doesn't make that much of a difference to them like it's not going to change their um their bottom line by publishing the protocols except for the fact that Maybe they don't believe that they can do that great of a, of a thing. I downloaded them, right? Where did I download them? Show all downloads. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing you that one now. Ah, okay, yeah, there they are. Oh, I need to refresh this thing because it hasn't loaded very well. I'm going to install the 32 must collect an OS. Architect oh, architecture option. Yeah, let's just go for IC86. Uh, Win 10. Browse. 21H1 International English 32. Forward. You must select. I, I would if you let me. Win 10. 2 gigs of RAM, 2 CPU will do fine. Enable storage, yes, I kind of have to. And I'm going to do this one. Win 10, CPU, set diary. And so I'm going to customize the installation. The reason for that is that you cannot actually delete the network from there. And even if you disable this link thing over here, it's not going to work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the network. Yes, I do want to remove the NIC and then I'm going to create the new installation. And now it somehow decides that the thing is not good to go. And why do I not see my virtual machine? 
domain is not running. I know it's not running. Shut down, settings, Windows 10, boot options, direct, no, no direct kernel. What is connected to a CDROM? CD yeah, it's that one is connected. So somewhere here, I forgot to tell it to enable UEFI, I think. A few more BIOS. I don't think I can do that. That's a problem. Okay, boot options. Yeah, enable the SATA CD-ROM one. Apply. Yeah. Force off. Yes. Start again and play. Viewer was disconnected. Um, awesome, but can I? Okay. It goes into crash crash loop, so I assume that this is not going to be. Force off. Yes. Turn yourself off. And delete. Delete the file. Yes, this is the whole thing. Local net oh, architecture option, yeah, 64, forward, browse, going to send the x64 instead, automatically detect, yes, yes, um, I like how this just increases in size, maybe I play, there we go, customize configuration, yes, because as I said, I need to remove the network, because I really don't want this thing to actually go on the network. Say the CD ROM, yeah, that's fine. Boot options. I don't know if that's going to work. And firmware, I do want UEFI. Why there are so many of these? I will go for this one. Begin installation. No bootable device. Okay, that's interesting. Sita CD ROM, it's mounted. Boot options start from Sita CD ROM, yes. This is going to take forever, isn't it? Oh, look, I can add a TPM. Um, storage, CD-ROM, floppy, LAN pass-through. Let's call it a USB disk device. And I'm going to connect the actual ISO here. Yes, I do want to use that thing. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, like I don't need to do that now. And um, remove the CD-ROM. Yeah. I guess it's running. I don't care. Or soft. Yes. There you go. Read only and shareable. And now on boot options, enable that. Apply and it's done. Let's see if this time it works. There is no CD or DVD. No bootable option device was found. Okay. Force off. Yes. Thing. Do I want to go back? to that CPU, one of these has, the, or do I need to, now this one is fixed on the firmware there. Oi, 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 why is this not helping me today? It usually works. Delete. Possibly that something changed on the way the, yeah, I want to delete. 
a new one forward This time I'm not going to try to customize it, I'm just going to have it start. And this time it starts, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to remove the nick of it. Uh, keyboard input, no, I don't want the US, I want the US international something. Yeah, I know that the installation of Windows is not exactly the most exciting thing to do. Um, I don't have a product key because I'm going to just use it in demo mode for now. I don't care about anything else. And I'm going to do a pro install because that one doesn't need the network connection. Install Windows only on the whole hard disk. There you go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I need to download that side diary. That's a website, right? SideDiary.org. Not the, oh, it's actually it's the same. It goes the same way. That's interesting. Because they don't actually forward you from one to the other. Yeah, uh, yeah, continue with the cookies, download side diary. I'm going to save this file, which is 60 max. So while Windows 10 installs, I'm going to do truncate s 120 max. Well, I'm going to create I have too much stuff here, right? Yeah, nothing important, right? Yeah, nothing important. Is a pie cache randomly. Reversing, yeah, there you go. I'm okay, dear. I'm going to call this one the Viva check, check, you know. Truncate mm, with S120 max, C diary, PNG, yeah, PFAT, full setup. I think that's it. Oh, forgot how to use it. Attach. F first, yes. And now, if I sudo loss it up dash L, it should show me that thing as founded. Loop free, okay. What was the file name? Side diary with a capital S. So this is the funny thing. I would love to have a tool, but the only thing it does, it essentially creates a VFAT image with the file that you wanted to give it. It should not be that difficult. I'm surprised there isn't one already. I asked before. I would love for it to be there. I don't have the time to write it myself. If anybody happened to have some spare time and wants to create essentially the equivalent of tar that generates VFAT image files, please, I would love it. It will make my life so much easier. In the meantime, Windows 10 is installing. My NAS is still like catching fire, like it's 
yeah, you can see it, it is actually like getting to the point where it is risky to run. Like it says that the, the core temp is, yeah, I don't think something is minus 263.2, thank you. Um, and somehow something is at 28 degrees versus the rest being at 100, but it is at 100, like the top is 100, definitely. Ow. Okay, I think this finished, yeah. Needs to go through the post install now for a moment. Still waiting. In the meantime, I can turn on the AC without standing up, which I just still connecting via. SSH because I haven't fixed that either and I know I need to fix it okay yes region is correct it's not the right layout for use US international please no I don't want the second layout I don't have internet Continue with limited setup. I really just need this to be test. No password. Ugh, no. Opt out of everything because this is not going to get connected to a network anyway. Hopefully, because side diary may be annoying like that. No, I don't want Cortana, I don't want anything. I want a pristine copy of Windows 10 to run this on. So I know I need to fix, to finish the ESP home stuff. And my original plan was this weekend to do that rather than working on this glucometer. Um, and I probably will still be doing that for the most part. Oh, come on. You now get the more effect on the lights. That part is annoying, but I need to be able to see. Sorry, folks. So yeah, I should be doing that, not being spending time on this glucometer. I just thought it was funny to have heard requests for this glucometer, but I've never heard of before. Um, and I was curious to see what type of USB to serial adapter it used. And also it was relatively cheap, it was 20 pounds on Amazon and like 20 pounds for a nice puzzle is my cup of tea. No, I don't need edge right now. That house actually can work, but I don't mind. Now if I'm going back here, I don't need the CD-ROM. Yeah. I don't care, you can't remove it. Now I'm going to add a new USB device. I don't care about that. I'm going to manage this. I'm going to add a new direct 
story, I guess. I can probably move it there. That lip lip here thing might just work. Very flash. Okay, so this now should have. I assume that this is on the new install what's going to happen. So this shall have CD drive D. No. Want the USB disk. Is the USB not supply? Oh, what to the next guest should tell me. Okay, so shut down. And start up again. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, this now started. Hopefully, side diary is now available for me to open. No, it somehow doesn't see the. U Did I not add a USB controller? It has USB the director, it has USB 0, USB 3. No, I don't. Just USB 2. I don't why. USB disk 1, read only, is it connected? It should be connected. Ah, <sighs> shut down. The ISO thing will kind of work as well, but it's always a pain in the neck to find the right MKISOFS parameters for the right settings and all things, it gets very boring very quickly. Will we have a USB device connected this time around? Still don't. I'm faffing around, I know, and like I really don't, like that was literally not what I wanted to do today. PCI device, is unknown PCI device. Okay. One AF4, 10. Ten forty five, ten forty five. The virtual memory balloon, okay. It does say that it has a USB two controller there. And it says that the USB device is there. Why is it not seeing it at all? Disk management. What do you mean unallocated? 
files files C diary. Okay, it's not seeing it. Okay, so let's try again. I don't want to. If I change I'm going to shut this down again. Uh, okay, so That looked free. And this is going to be FAT32, so two, 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 zero C will do fine. And now there is a loop free E1, sudo mkfs. Actually, why am I using vfat? Do I have xfat? No. I don't have xfat. Can I install xfat utils for this? I don't want to use the XFAT somehow. Like I don't know why it's trying to use so, so the, the XFAT fuse because it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, yeah, stop XFAT. And now it's fine. Now when I start this, it should see the actual expat for the thing. So I see it's what's going to go. I mean, if it's not there this time either, I am going to pull it. Yeah, I can find it. This is an actual EULA, it's not a GPL, so... Hmm. 
There you go. Okay, so this is two, two, two. I'm computer pro. Yeah, yes, I am. Can I next group? No, I don't want to put a name. Test, test. Yeah, it's neither type one and type two. Um, da, da, da. sure. I'll actually give a real, real answer for this one. And I'll take the millimoles per liter. Yeah, just check the normal defaults. Did I miss something? No, I don't care about the blood pressure right now. Yeah, simplified logbook will do fine. I just want to figure out how to download the data out of the game. Complete. Download and install this feature. I don't have, yeah, it cannot be installed because it's not connected to the network. I wonder if this is still going to work. Okay, that's the update check. That's uh, the whole publish thing. So now I'm going to connect this thing. But first, Uh, sudo non sudo no, no it's not sudo is that C sharp I don't think yeah it's not readable by me I need to actually add the thing Invite capture filter USB. Oh no, um, USB is the wrong one. Dash W first connect pickup. And it's not T shark, it's TCP dump, right? USB is the one. I forgot how to do this. Set a tackle, yeah, sure, all of those things. Do I need to say USB mount zero? Yes. So the good thing is that usually here I now will have a lot of stuff going on because I'm typing and I need to do things carefully because I move my thing. Because I'm using RDP, this, this is not going to get anything until I actually connect the thing. So now it's capturing and then connecting the device. And asking me for a password for device pass through, which yes, that's what I want. So we should now be getting, let's see, device manager, USB serial device, very good, com free. And if I view by connection, this is going to go, yeah, through the USB. Okay, so if I now go, is it import data? This is the ADware version without internet. Your ad may be there. Okay, minimizing all the possible drivers, trying to find which one it is. That's a whole lot of them, but not the one I'm looking for. Sh 
show all devices, yes. So funny thing, this has the bot the about libre one and two as a file with the ASCII driver. It's interesting. It doesn't seem to have a driver for what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's the mobile devices. No, I don't want those. Let's export data. I have a feeling that it may be that the drivers it cannot initialize. I don't have any device. <sighs> the smart scene addings. No. Maybe that because I don't have .NET installed on this thing, it doesn't have a way. Program settings, quick start, socket elementary, no. Yeah, in a not accessible, that's intentional. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this as well. I'm going to give it a network connection again. I tried giving it another connection. I may have crashed it. No. Ah, uh, this is going to be me fucking around a little more, right? Because I haven't done this kind of thing in a while. And trying it with a slightly new setup. Now, speaking of, where did, where did I put Edge? Here. Let me actually find the right thing. So, if you are interested in USB reverse engineering, this may be something you are interested in. Um, I have ordered one of these already. Well, I pre-booked it. Um, Great Scott Gadgets is working on this. It has a software for USB tools. But it's a USB tools group, which is different from the one I've been doing. Yeah, it's very good. There is a different Python USB protocol, which is different from the one I'm using. Um, I have considered looking into merging this into, like, add support for this into my tools. But for now, they are fairly different, so I haven't done any of that. This has the old USB proxy stuff, which is also one of the things that you can use on the BeagleBone. Um, I haven't actually used this software. I should probably take a look, if nothing else, because it has its own UI. Um, it has a bunch of backends for this, including the OpenVisla. 
which is something that I've been suggested to look at. It has USB mount support, but I don't even know which capture formats it's using. If it's using the RAW one or the PCAP one, I haven't really checked much of that. Um, I may look in more into that once I have the actual physical board for it. I'm definitely looking forward to have something like this for hardware hacking. Um, this is what it sent. Like, this is a, li a lot more advanced than the stuff that my USB mount tools stuff does. But also this is very low level. So I may, my main plan for this is to have this to use for my own um, tooling and, and various discard. Like I need a bunch of that. Um, I'm not on the Discord channel. I should probably join the Discord channel one day or the other. Yeah. Meantime, this has... Oh, Windows doesn't actually have Virtio stuff. Like it didn't install it. So that's probably why it didn't work. Um, okay, device model, it doesn't e apply. I need to turn off and turn on again the thing. So, yeah, if you're interested, Great Scott Gadgets is doing this. Um, there are more stuff on crowd supply for things like that. I also got a pre-order for the Glasgow, um, among other things, because Hector has been working on that. So that's, that's handy, isn't it? But uh, that's going to take a while, a while. I'm restarting the VM now with network. I can even get this viewer was disconnected. The viewer was not disconnected. It just said it turned you off and turned back on. Do you want to allow that? No, I don't want this to be discoverable. No, thank you. It's fine. Um, I just want to um, additional, not additional updates, Com not components. What is the um, add, remove? Not this, it's not programs, but I guess from this one, turn Windows features on and off. I think this is the one I want. I don't want Hyper-V, but I may want the Hyper-V services. No, that's to manage them. I thought that they had the VTO driver, but a different thing altogether. Uh, .NET, .NET, .NET 3.5, yes. Okay. And this can download the, the, the stuff on there. Also folks, just to give you an idea, we are waiting for food and once food is ready, I will probably end the stream and we'll be back probably over the weekend. Um, it sounds like my next step for this part of this project here is to 
figure out how to get made it out of this thing, which is like that's the, the target of the end. Um, but to get that, I will probably need to write um, the sector for the ACM protocol. And I don't know how actually that works. So CDC ACM protocol. Somebody will probably have been. Oh, look, Kale has something. So. That's a lot of information. Yeah, it's a bulk out for the send and a bulk in for receive. It's an interrupt in for the notify and let's see how's the initialize. That's a user API. I don't want the user API. I actually want the low level. Publicly documented protocol. And I'm glad it is. Uh, ba -ba 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 device organization, USB pods model, direct line control modem, USB ASTN modem, class specific code, data interface class sub code. Line co this is get line coding, which is batch request type and that's a line coding structure and that's a, I assume that this is get and set set line coding there you go so it will be just most likely a go through the usual steps completed the request Changes okay. Now I can go back to show you the VM. Now I can disable this. There you go. I'm reopening side reopening side diary and I want to read data from device. Read data from device subscript out of range. And everything dies. Not the most reliable close file import data. Let me see if I disconnect this thing, it, it actually works. That's very interesting. So add remove program. Let's see if Removing this is going to be enough, or I'm going to call this a night and come back with a new clean install.
I'm not connected, I know that. And then somehow lost my mouse on this thing. That's very interesting, like the keyboard works. But the mouse doesn't and the problem is that the ha. Okay, so the mouse doesn't work. I got the keyboard to work by going full screen, so I'm not seeing anything what's going on. Um, How do I even reboot this? Like, with a command line. That's the emoji. Oh, there you go. Power, shut down. Yes, it's not running. I will start it again and I'll try again and then I'll call it. So exactly the chapter of the ACM is going to be my next step from there, I guess. Um, similar to the way I already have the um, So I uninstalled Side Diary, but it still has this Side Diary auto import there on the desktop. As I said, the quality of that software, not my favorite. Let me reinstall this again. And did I lose again my... I did, didn't I? So I can use the keyboard, but the mouse is not working. Because you can see the button is stuck there. Uh, tablet. Keyboard. Add hardware. If I was to do input. USB EV Touch USB graphic tablet VirtaIO tablet. Does VirtaIO needs driver on Windows?
یعنی وی ای او دبلت پرفورمنس Well, let me add a USB mouse when I remove this tablet. Yeah. Oh, something is bringing it to zero zero. That's why. Oh, I guess the two things are very confusing. Okay, let me remove. Oh, there are two mice. That's why. That one cannot be removed. Yes. Can't remove this one. Add hardware. Input. Maybe touch. Fine. Tablet. Now it works, at least for the moment. I will probably remove this whole thing later. So this thing says ready, but it's also still reinitializing something. I want to use the default program set. Read data from the bind. This one still error some. So something is definitely off with that. Um, Okay, so somewhere here Okay, these two Yes, to all. Yes, I definitely wanted to remove everything inside I deleted. Let me start it again. See, now it should not know that I ever installed it. There you go. Complete. Okay, the name is going to be test. Complete. Seriously. Now it's reinitializing all the meter drivers. Hopefully now that .NET is installed, it will allow all of them and I see a lot more of them. So before the abbots were missing all of the freestyle stuff. So it says code free next to them. I don't know why. Oh, wow, I wonder if Google still has a trademark on that talk where. Okay, so now it lo loaded all of them, so I can probably download with all of these. This is the Viva track. You know, yes. This Vmon is still listening. I'm going to terminate it and restart it because there is nothing. 
Okay. Revise this rule. Yeah, it's gone free. Go on. Import everything. Could not read any data. But it's possibly because there is no data in it. We need to terminate this for a moment. It read something, or at least it sent something. Now let's try to take a look. Um, Devel repos with demon tools activate the env and then I'm going to use just demon chatter. Do I have a chatter? No, I don't have any chatter for that. Just demon chatter. I cannot do HID because it's not HID. Now let's open Wireshark then. Wireshark reversing the event check. It's, uh, person. There you go. This is our nice Wireshark. That's the port stuff. So all of these is probably useless because 210, I think those are all, I think, should probably have seen what the act Activate the env, use demon capture stats, reversing the first command. Hmm. File not starting with the uh, Oh, it's a pickup, not pickup ng. What? Right, the file. Okay, folks, it's time for me to go for dinner. So this will be for another time. Enjoy, everyone. See you next time.